Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at Tech Noir from Hundo Industries, the amazing new um, independent comic book. We are doing an indie comic spotlight today. Great black and white anthology. So much fun. Cannot wait to share it with you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and let's get right into it. Okay, so um, someone from Hundo Industries reached out to me on Instagram to send their latest comic book to me to review and i'm more than happy to receive these kinds of things in the mail um um i always like to bring attention to you know smaller publishers self-publishers indie comics that uh people might not be able to um discover on their own otherwise and uh this is definitely a fun one for sure this cover is amazing um I love the use of color, the color holds, and sort of, um, it creates this almost 3D effect in a way. Definitely, like, would look cool under black lights. Um, I'm digging the, um, logo. A little difficult to read. Sometimes when you're doing a logo, um, you should definitely make it want to pop out more. I think the fact that this is being blue and blue, it sort of draws your eye into it, but... Other than that, it's a great design. I love it. The art is spectacular. Hundo Industries, the little um, company emblem here in the corner. Loving that. Um, great pinup on the back. Um, it has to do with the story. The drip in the eye is part of the story. This is kind of a straightforward story. It's like an anthology, black and white jam. Um, this is... Uh, sort of like a like a post-apocalyptic like kind of world um gangs drugs robots assassins the future is fucking badass so that pretty much sets it up um a black ink comics production art by jeff bartrand Def david nolte leslie wenlock adam brown don hughes corinne halbert nick ruby brad dwyer covers by paul eduardo and abby luck there's a lot of talent here. Um, there are a lot of like great like um, indie artists. The um, gamut is from like very deep indie roots. I mean, you can see the sick details with all the ink all over this page um, to like sci-fi to very, very like, um, you know, uh, technically sound to very like crude and rudimentary. And I'm living for every minute of it. It feels kind of like they came up with this concept and, like, each did a few pages and, like, passed it off to the next person, but I'm not really sure. Um, it's It comes together quite well. There's this... The protagonist is, like, um, I guess a dealer who is on a mission to go inside the city walls. And I love that this... Okay, so the, the address that I got this from, they are located in Tampa. I lived in St. Petersburg, um... Tampa for a few years in between Ohio and Los Angeles. So I have a soft spot in my heart for Tampa, St. Pete, Florida, um, especially when I see um, fuck Ybor City. I used to go to a great bar in Ybor City called Trax to watch drag shows. It was so much fun. Tampa is definitely like, I'm told I would not recognize it if I went back. And I'm sure that is true. I love this art here. You know, it definitely has a very much like an underground sort of indie feel you know there's a very like sort of esoteric sort of like dreamy images like all this hatching and beautiful black and white line art it's reminding me of Matt Lisniewski's Faceless in the Family so I think that a lot of love and detail went in there this is kind of insane here this whole um perspective shot through a chain link fence with grass and like I don't know why this artist would want to do that to themselves but I sure I'm glad it did all these eyeballs over the place it's kind of reminding me of um um my friend Sam Sinosis's sort of trippy work definitely trippy little MC Usher vibes I remember the comic scene in um Tampa being fairly huge lots of um indie comic artists there for sure He's talking to this character that we cannot see. I thought it was like a robot person, but I'm not so sure anymore. But its name is Rita. And my best friend from um, St. Pete is named Rita. So I was like equally thrilled to get a book from my 
Florida passed and um, have, you know, my best friend named in it. So he's going to deliver this uh, drug called Drip um, inside the city, like, which is, he's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to go inside the city. How am I going to get out? And they're like, don't worry, we'll send you a drone, whatever. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, what does the future look like? I'm sure it doesn't look very different from the present, right? Just worse and better in every which way you would expect, right? The shift in artists, I have to say, flows quite nicely. Um, David Nolte here. Not every artist is mentioned um, in their chapter. They're all mentioned in the title page and in the back here. I, the only problem I have when I do um, these anthology things is like, looking back and forth with that page number. So I always want to try to give proper shout outs to the artists, but we're going to have to take the roll call at the beginning for what it's worth. Um, but this is a lot of fun. Like, oh my gosh, like, um, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like, what do you call it? Like, um, Indy Where's Waldo? I mean, this is like really cool and ambitious. And I can tell that the artists here have a lot of talent and definitely put like a lot of work and love into the the this comic here i mean um so this drip you like drip it in your eye and you like trip out and they've incorporated like him delivering the the drug but also kind of like going on this trip himself and as of course in any of these situations you know things go wrong I'm particularly impressed by this two-page spread. I really love this here. Like, the use... I would love to see this in color because I think it would be so amazing and, like, make a lot of these details pop out. But I also love seeing it in black and white because you can see, like, the pure talent of the artist here. Um, I love the way... The pacing of the scene and the way that it's set up with the composition, the spotting of blacks here, and just... Everything is, like, working in these two pages here. And you, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a sucker for a good page, two-page spread. I would also like to point out the great quality of this um, comic. It has this gorgeous, thick, glossy cover stock. And then the pages inside are white um, with just the slightest hint of, like, um, a shine. And I kind of like that because it's not matte, but it's not super glossy. And I think that works best um, for this black and white format. I mean, it doesn't always work best. You know, of course, um, you could argue that newsprint or like a uh, paper cover cardstock kind of situation would be better or most ideal. But I think whatever works for the project. And I think that it is working quite well here. So props to them for the production of the book as well. Another great establishing shot. Um, I think we have from the first same artist here. So these guys are really good. Um, I love to see like I like these anthology jams come together. I've been parts of them. Um, I've been a contributor. I've been an editor. So um, I know how hard people work on stuff like this and how hard it is to sort of line things up, especially in this day and age. Everyone's so busy with their own deadlines and people flake and drop out of projects. And there's this like glass knife weapon going on in here. And I like it. Shandora's box. There's just a, like a lot of fun, like elements, unexpected elements. You know, of course, you're going to get some sort of Batman reference, I guess. I'm not really sure. I can't, I shouldn't say that for sure. This is like totally fun. Like, see what I'm saying? Like how different the art is. It like, goes from like one extreme to the other from cave drawings to mobius all within the, the same pages i love that you know it's like um i'm told that anthologies don't really sell that well but i am a sucker for a good anthology and i will always scream from the rooftops how great anthologies are i love graffiti if you have um um it, any amount of good graffiti happening in any situation, you're going to get these sort of symbols, like a pentagram, um, usually the word bitch, usually it's spelled incorrectly for, um, you know, authenticity. And of course, the anarchy symbol. I mean, what would a good graffiti wall be without the anarchy symbol, right? Anarchy and Satanism go hand in hand, supposedly. Um, 
The flow is just like fun. I always categorize these sort of books um, as sort of like summer blockbuster. It definitely has like um, a, you know, a point, like, like a, a sort of like, I was, the, like a, the plot, you know, the plot device, the gimmick, whatever, like the character is getting from point A to point B. And of course, we're throwing in monkey wrenches along the way. See what I mean? Like, this is sort of next level here. I'm loving the, not only like the the lines of the details, but like so many good things happening here. Like the solid anatomy, I can even appreciate. And just this, like this whole page here is so good. Um, very creepy vibes. Very like, once again, very like European with the details, like the, the fine lines of, delineation is that that star pack track thing that I reference that I keep getting um seeing just a really nice flow of uh storytelling here very different I'm enjoying the very different styles throughout um I'd be curious to see more from hundo um industries hundo industries um I think they definitely have more stuff coming for sure and this is just like a really cool book. Like, I really enjoy, like, seeing, like, you kind of know that we're going to get from point A to point B, but it's about the journey, and the journey is a good one. There is a treasure trove of talent in here. Um, they're all listed in the back, how to find them on Instagram. Um, Hundo Industries is on Instagram. I'll put a link to Hundo Industries in the description of the video so that you can um, check it out and hopefully uh, get this anthology for yourself because it is worth a deep dive. I've read it a couple of times now just to drink in all the details of the art and um, see little things that I probably didn't see the first time around. And I guess this is their next book, Gobo, Gabo, Adult Illustrated Epic Fantasy, coming soon from Hundo. Well, I am a fan. I have to say thanks for reaching out and sending me this book. I think it is fantastic. A job well done. Congratula congratulations, guys. I know this isn't easy to put something like this together. And I think that this looks just terrific. And it came together quite well. So if you're a fan of deep, dark indie anthologies with a post-apocalyptic sci-fi edge, this book is definitely for you. Tech Noir from Hundo Industries. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I will bring you more soon.